What's up, PassFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is the Total Body Hit Workout. We're going to perform today's routine Tabata style. So that means we're going to do four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. The only equipment required for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you use is dependent on your fitness level. Follow along with me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's burn it out. All right, let's get started with the warm up. First move of the day is going to be a knee raise plus chest opener. So, opening those arms up, feeling that stretch in your chest and in your shoulders, and then doing like a march in place while we're trying to bring that knee up to parallel to the ground. And the purpose of today's warm up is to elevate your heart rate and increase your overall body temperature. And we'll even get a little bit of mobility work in here at the same time. Get your body warmed up for what's to come. That's it. Now, the purpose of the warm-up is not to get your actual workout in, so make sure you're moving at a warm-up pace. Don't burn yourself out here. Whatever your warm-up pace looks like, go ahead and give it. Making sure to breathe along the way. Focus on that breathing. Nice and consistent. Feeling a stretch in your chest and in your shoulders every time you open those arms up doing this one for just 10 more seconds and let's go five four three two one and zero we're moving to the floor for the next one let's go ahead and start in a high plank position also known as like a push-up position we're going to do a multi-planar lunge let's take your right foot and move it up by your right hand now we're gonna reach through to your left side and then reach up to the right, go in and look at that hand as you twist and rotate from your core. This one's gonna loosen up multiple body parts from your thoracic spine to your hamstrings, shoulders, all getting loosened up on this one, I like this one because it's just such an efficient move. We're going to split our time equally on both sides. And again, this one is not a race. Moving through at a nice warm up pace with this great mobility move. Keep that breathing going here. And we're going to switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and place that right hand back down. Step that right foot back. Now let's step up with your left foot and we're going to reverse it reaching through to the right and then twisting up as we look at that hand excellent now is a good time to remind yourself of why you hit that play button today what it is that motivates you what brought you here to this workout we're going to keep that in your mind through, throughout today's routine and as today's routine gets more difficult that's gonna be that little carrot that gets you through. Keeping it up for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, coming back up to our feet. One last warm up move. We're gonna warm up our posterior chain with the posterior swing to overhead. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Point those toes out, slight bend our knees. Swing those hands through your legs and then up overhead now we're starting with a slight bend in our knees we're going to maintain that slight bend throughout driving our hips back you'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings your glutes it's also loosening up your lower back and those three big muscle groups make up your posterior chain loosening them up getting them ready for this action 
we're trying to drive our hips back almost like we're trying to touch our glutes to the wall behind us on this one and then finish up with those arms up overhead biceps by our ears also getting a little shoulder stretch in at the same time again really efficient dynamic active stretch let's do this one for just five four three two one and zero all right for our first move of the day we just need one dumbbell you all ready right. to go i'm ready to go let's do this hope you're ready as well one dumbbell needed we are going to do a reverse lunge plus halo so we're going to grab that dumbbell on either side have it out in front of us to start we're going to step back with one leg and we're going to twist in the opposite side direction dropping both knees to a 90. we're going to come up Form a halo, bring it up overhead, and now we're going opposite side. Drop that back knee down and up, right back into the halo, and you'll see how each move flows right into the next one. That's right. Okay, again, we're going four back-to-back -back rounds, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. I'm ready to get the show on the rep. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, first round here. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Let's get it cranking. Making sure to breathe throughout. And your goal in these 20 seconds of work sets is to get as many reps in as possible, keeping that pace up. Now, of course, we want you to maintain proper form throughout. Three, two, one, and break. While we're going as fast as we can, we don't want to sacrifice form. No. All right, so these 10 second breaks are gonna go by fast. Here we go in two. One, begin. And hit it. Like I said, 20 seconds of work goes by slow and that 10 seconds of rest is gonna go by fast. So be ready for it. Just enough time to take a couple of deep breaths and get right back into it. This move is gonna hit your shoulders, core, hamstrings, glutes, quads. Three, two, one, break. It's an excellent Ooh. compound move. Definitely. All right, two down. Shake it out. Here we Two go. Two to go. Two, one, begin. As you get a little more familiar with the move, you can pick up the pace. Not about being perfect on this, just about putting in the work, keeping the pace up. Not much longer. And if you need to, you can always adjust your weight. Three, two, one, break. Three Ooh. down, one to go. One more. Almost there, a couple deep breaths. <sighs> All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, last round. Picking it up, let's go. How many can you get right here? Throughout today's workout, you're not competing with us, you're competing with yourself. Trying to get a little bit better every time. Let's go, come on. Not much longer, here we go. In push three, it, push it, push it. Two, one, and break. All right, first one is down. Next one, still only need the one dumbbell. All right. Just the weight if you need to. I'm gonna drop my weight. We're moving to the floor and we're gonna get into a high plank position. I'm gonna be up on my feet. And I'm gonna be down on my knees. We're gonna do a high plank reverse fly. So with that one dumbbell, we're gonna reach through and pull back, keeping a bend in that elbow, forming a reverse fly, keeping your core nice and tight, back straight. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, let's hit it. Reach through and pull back. While we do wanna move at a fast pace, at the same time, we're trying not to swing too much. We wanna make sure we're staying under control. Make sure you're using the appropriate weight. That's it, it doesn't take a lot of weight for this move. Pulling back, keeping that bend in the elbow. Here we go guys, in three, two, one, and break. All right, we're switching to the opposite arm now. Again, get in ready position because that 10 seconds is going by fast. That's right. In three, two, one, begin. We're keeping our core tight, back stays straight, keep a slight bend in the arm that's on the ground and stabilizing. You don't have that elbow locked out. This one's working your core, your upper back, both getting really hit on this one. Three, two, one and break. Ah, that's it. Ooh. Ooh, shake I'm those arms it in out. My back. <laughs> two down, two to go. Come on, Hesfit, try. All right, guys, here we go. Two, 
One, begin. That's it, right into it. And also really focus on controlling that descent as well on the way down. We don't want to just allow that dumbbell to flop down, but Woo. keep it under control. I'm feeling it already, guys. Me too. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What you got? How many can you get? Here we go, guys, in five, four, three, two, one, break. Ha. Oh, three down. Last one. One to go. I'm let's ready. get it moving. All right, guys, here we go. In three, two, one. Last one right here. Keeping that core tight. Back stays nice and straight. If you started on your feet and you need to move to your knees, feel free to do so. Make this workout your own. Modify as needed. Also modify with your weight if you want to, lowering or raising the weight. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. All right, we're up on our feet for the next one and we're gonna need two dumbbells. All right, I'm gonna go over here and grab a little heavier weight. We're gonna do a squat plus curl combo. A little two for one move, a little compound. Start with our hands at our sides, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna put our weight back on our hips, squat down. And as we stand up, we're gonna curl, bringing those pinkies in, back down and repeat. And that's the whole move. That's it, let's do it guys. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one, push it. Weight back in the hips and then curl. And like I said, this is definitely a combo move. Hamstrings, quads, glutes, lower back, core, biceps, forearms, all getting hit yes. on this one. Four seconds, three, two, one, and break. All right, <sighs> set the weights down if you need to, but not for long, it's just that 10 seconds. Grip. All right, here we go guys, in two, one, begin. All right, now that you got the move down, let's pick up that pace. How many can you get right here? Really come on. Try, try to keep those knees from caving in. That's right, don't allow them to come in. Keep them out and strong. Focus on good form here. And you got four seconds. Three, two, one, and break. All right, two down, Ooh. two to go. <sighs> Feeling good. Feeling awesome. Adjust your weight here as we needed. Go, guys. Two, one, begin. And on that squat, we want to make sure that we're keeping our feet flat. We don't want to come up onto our toes, driving off those heels, making sure to sit back with your weight in your hips first, and then break at your knees. Come on, let's go, let's go. In three, two, one, break. Ah. Woo. Three down. One more to go. One to go. It goes fast. Shake it off, guys. Here we go. Starting again in two, one, let's begin. What do you got right here? It's you versus you. That's right. When that lactic acid starts to kick in and that burn starts to kick in, you gotta remind yourself that you're tougher than that burn. What did you come here for? What is it? Come on. And three, two, one, break. Excellent. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the same way for the next one. Me too. Two dumbbells needed. We're gonna do a skier swing. So similar move to how we started in the warm up. Feet are shoulder width apart, little bend in our knees. We're gonna swing those dumbbells back behind us. Back stays straight, hips forward, hips back, bringing those arms out to parallel. Ooh. This is all really in the legs. That's right. Using those hips as a hinge. Yep. All right, let's do it in three, two, one, zero. Swing them back. This is probably one of my favorite moves of all time. Squeeze your glutes up at the top. Start with that slight bend in your knees and then keep that same bend. Woo, here we go. And five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, Ooh. burn yeah. so good. Yep, time to drop them. <laughs> <laughs> that grip too, that grip yep. is working. All right guys, let's starting again. In three, two, one, begin. That's it, really focus on those hips. Slight bend the knees and then driving those hips back behind you. Ooh, all the power in those hips. Squeezing those glutes up at the top. Not much longer to go. Stand up big and tall. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, Ooh. Two down, 
two, two to more go. to go. It's working. I know you're loving it just as much as we are. We're right there with you, tribe. Here, here we go, guys. Pick them up again. Starting in two, one, begin. Hit it. One right into the next. If you need to drop the weight, feel free to do so, but just don't stop moving. One right into the next. Not much longer to go. Almost there, almost there. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, three down. One, two, go. You got this, Trout. Yes. You got it, right All here. All right, pick up those weights. Starting in three, two, one. Let's hit it, last one. Finishing strong on this one. Whew. Keeping your head in line with your spine. That means we're not looking up, we're not looking down. Keeping that head right in line with our back. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. Here we go, guys. Home stretch. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. All right, we're gonna need two dumbbells again for the next one. Okay. I'm gonna drop my weight a little bit. So am I. We're doing an overhead press. It's called a push press. We're gonna start with both of our dumbbells up in a rack position. Dumbbells by our chin. We're gonna put our weight back in our hips, sit back, then use that power from our legs to help drive those dumbbells straight up. So here we are, are you it's ready to go? Be a good one too. <laughs> in three, two, one, zero. Sit and push. Again, getting as many in as we can in that a lot of time period. Just driving straight up, finishing with those biceps by your ears. Use that power from your legs Three, to drive them up. Two, one, and break. Ah, sit them down if you need to. One down, three to go. Yep, make sure Let's you adjust ahead. that weight accordingly. That's it, if you need to go up or down, do so. All right, guys, here we go. And two, one, begin. All right, so you're getting a little bit of work in on your legs on this one, but it's mostly shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of chest. Also working your core, having to stabilize. Come on, push it, push it, push it. How many can you get right here? In five, four, three, two, one, break. Halfway, Goodness. two down, Whew. two to go. I feel that lactic acid burning. For sure. All right, guys, again, weights up, two, one, let's start. Come on. Reminding yourself what brought you here today to begin with. What are your goals? What are you working on? Every repetition, getting you just that much closer. Right here, keep it up. All right, guys, in three, two, one, and break. Ah, Ooh. three down, one to Goodness go. Goodness gracious. Take a couple of big deep breaths here. And pick those weights back up, because we're starting right now. Let's do it. Last one. Come on, pushing yourself, because nobody else is gonna do it for you. Come on, what are you working on? What's it gonna take to get there? Come on, every rep, getting you that much closer. Push to the pace, and everybody. And three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Oh, goodness. Okay, only one dumbbell needed for the next one. Alrighty. Another combo move. We're gonna start with that dumbbell in our right hand. We're gonna step to our left side. I'm gonna do a big step and do a lateral lunge. And I'm going to do a lateral squat. And as we stand up, we're going to pull up from that elbow and perform an upright row. You decide if you want to do the long step or the short step. Two rounds on each side. And three, two, one, let's go. Making sure to keep your weight back in your hips in both variations. And you're pulling up from that elbow like you have a string attached to that elbow. Pulling up with that elbow and not your hand. That's right. And five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, one down. Ooh, We're switching, switching sides. sides. Couple deep breaths here. It's a killer. Starting in three, two, one, begin, guys. This move is tough, but you're tougher. After you get the feel for it, you can pick up the pace. My move requires a little more flexibility and it puts a little more load on that outside leg where Claudia is a little more evenly distributed. In five, 
four, three, two, one, break. All right, halfway down, two done, two to go. Switching Keep that sides. energy up. All right, guys, starting again in three, two, one, begin. All right, big reach and big pull straight up from that elbow. This one's working your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your glutes, your shoulders, your upper back, your traps, all getting worked on this one. Come on, don't hold your breath, keep breathing. And three, two, one, break. All right, three down, one to go, has for try. We're right one. there with you. All right, guys, and three, two, one, last one. Come on. Give it all you got. Finish this one strong, no holding back. Get this set done and there'll be no more of these today. Everything you got right here, no holding back. And five seconds. And three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Okay, we're gonna need two dumbbells for the next one. All right. And we're moving to the floor. To the ground. I'm going a little bit heavier for this one. We're gonna lie down on our backs. Another combo move, we're gonna do a chest press plus a flutter kick. We're gonna start with our legs out in front of us. We're gonna tuck your chin and bring those shoulder blades off the ground and do a hollow body. I'm bringing my legs out straight. And I'm gonna have my knees bent here. Now we're gonna press and at the same time, perform a flutter kick. You decide if you want your knees bent or legs straight. Or a little bit of, of both, right? They're both fun. Yes. All right, <laughs> in three, two, one, zero. Key on this one is to keep your lower back glued to the ground. And that's why we bring our chin up, tuck it, and shoulder blades off the ground. Really helps us keep that lower back flat. Five more seconds, guys. Come on. In three, two, one, and break. That's it. Woo, 10 seconds. Gonna go by fast. It sure is. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's start again. If you're having trouble keeping that lower back on the ground, that's when it's time to bend the knees. Nothing wrong with that. That's it. Better safe than sorry. That's right. Keep breathing. I know it's a hard one to breathe while you're moving. Five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah. Halfway. Two down, two to go. <sighs> We're right there with you, feeling that same burn. And three, two, one. Here we go, third one. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Remember, you're not alone. Thousands, maybe even millions at home doing that same move, feeling that same burn you're feeling. We're in it together, Hasfit Tribe. In it together, just keep moving. Keep moving, keep working. Three, two, one, and break. Ah. Woo, one more. One last one. Ooh. You're almost there. Yes. Come on. And three, two, one, last one. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're done. Finish. Right to the end, right here, everyone. Right here, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What'd you come here for? What is it? What are you working towards? Remind yourself, getting closer. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. <sighs> now we're standing up for the next one, but we're only gonna need one out of your two dumbbells. We're gonna do a split snatch. So we're gonna start with the dumbbell in your right hand. Feet are in a split or a staggered stance. I'm gonna drop my back knee down to a 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna drive my hips back into a hang position. Now we're both gonna bring our elbow up as fast as we can, and then bring that dumbbell up overhead. I'm going back down into that 90 degree angle on both knees, and Claudia's just bringing those hips back. You decide which variation is right for you, but here we go. Great total body move. And three, two, one, get it going. Again, I'm dropping both knees down, just getting my legs involved a little bit more. But Claudia's putting that weight back in her hips and then driving her hips forward. Either way, we're pulling up on that elbow, bringing that hand up like we're zipping up a jacket. Three, two, one, break. Switching sides. This one definitely takes a little bit of coordination. Yes, so that's really okay. focus and use your brain on this one. Uh-huh, three, two, one, begin. Yeah, both of us are using that power from our legs and our hips to drive that dumbbell straight up overhead. 
trying to move that dumbbell as fast as we can. It's about speed on that pull. Big, fast pull. Three, two, one, break. Excellent. Ooh. Two down, two to go. These are, the snatch is probably my, one of my favorite moves. It's just such an efficient compound move. Definitely. And two, one, begin. Take a little bit of practice to get good at. But again, use those legs to help pull that dumbbell up. And you're pulling up from that elbow like you have a string attached to it. And then we get to its highest point, flip that dumbbell over. Three, two, one, break. All right, switching Ooh, hands. One more. Couple deep breaths. We're right there with you. Yes. Three, two, one. Last one, guys. Come on, make it happen. Everything you got on this last one. Come on, no holding back. Big speed, big power. Where are you at, Hasbro Tribe? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Excellent, okay, Ooh. no more of those. No Cross more. those off the list. Moving on to a dumbbell earthquake. Grabbing that dumbbell on either side. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. Bring that dumbbell up overhead using our legs, our abs, and our upper body. We're gonna slam that dumbbell down between our legs, but we're gonna hold on to it. So it's very similar to a medicine ball slam, but instead we're holding on tight and not letting go. Another total Ooh. body move coming at you. This one's gonna hurt. You ready, Hasfit Tribe? Let's do it. <laughs> ready or not, here it comes. And three, two, one, zero. Big power on every slam, holding on tight. Dropping that weight back on our hips like a squat on every rep. Again, using those abs, legs, and upper body. Come on, let's go. In three, two, one, break. Ah, one down, three <laughs> to go. Claudia's liking this one as much as I am. Yes. All right, guys, in three, two, one. Here we go again. Make sure to keep breathing and do not hold your breath. And hang on to that dumbbell. That's it, hold on tight. Don't put it through your TV, your laptop, or your computer. Or the floor. That's it, or your phone. <laughs> hold on tight, come on. In three, two, one, break. Two down, two Ooh. to go, that's it, Hasfit Tribe. Almost done. You've come this far, don't <laughs> quit now. In three, two, one, let's go. Halfway point. One rep right into the next what brought you here today come on focus on it remember those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right which one are you you decide let's go in three two one break ah three <sighs> down one to go that's it right here hopefully you guys are doing this workout not just watching my faces that i'm making come on all right tough. guys two one begin everything on the line right here no holding back what do you got it's you versus you i want you to exceed your own expectations today come on what do you got right here almost there guys in five four three two one break ah nice work no, no more of those. more of that one Whew. one My last goodness. one we need two dumbbells that's it all right moving into either a dumbbell low pulse squat or a dumbbell half pull squat you decide which is right for you feet are shoulder width apart i'm dropping down into a low squat position and i'm going to be about halfway and i'm just going to pulse right here for the whole set we're going to burn those legs out let's do it finish it off here we go three two one zero weight back in the hips just little pulses that's it right there we're gonna have to fight through that lactic acid on this one you decide which variation is right for you, but don't give up, no. stay tough. You are in the home stretch. Keep those knees out, come on. Three, two, one, break. Whew, 10 seconds is gonna go by so fast. Shake that lactic acid out. Right there with you, let's go. Three, two, one, and we're back at it, guys. Right at it, come on. What is it that you came here for today? What's your goal, what are you working towards? Now is the time to focus on it. Go to that happy place. What is it? What are you working towards? What's it gonna take for you to accomplish that goal? Come and on, And three, two, one, 
Break. Ah, Ooh. Shake a moose. <laughs> Come on, we're right there with you. Halfway. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Go to that happy place. When that burn starts to kick in, you gotta be tougher than it. That's right. You gotta remember that's just lactic acid. You don't have to listen to that burn. Push past it right here. Come on, push and past it. And three, two, one, ah. break. Ooh. One more to go. Make no mistake about it. Our legs are feeling the same as yours. Come on. Last one, guys. Here we go. In two, one, begin. Last 20 seconds. This is it. We've come You've, this far. That's it. Now is not the time to quit. When those legs get tired, it's time to squat with your heart. It's all about that mental toughness. Prove to yourself how tough you are right here. And then you accomplish this. And there's nothing you can't do. That's right. Here come we go. On. In come three, on. two, one, break. Ah, that's it, tribe. Ooh. You made it. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Sure the heck was. Come on, give yourself a round of applause here. Be proud of what you've achieved today. Couple Ooh. deep breaths, and we're gonna move into a cool down. And the purpose of this cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly mm -hmm. and gain a little extra mobility at the same time. We're gonna move on over to a wall or just anything you can support yourself on. We're gonna do a bent arm chest stretch. So with that elbow at a 90, we're gonna open that chest up and turn away from the wall, stretch our chest, Ooh. as well as our shoulders. We got a good workout in today. So we're just gonna loosen them up, loosen them up here, as well as taking some big, much needed breaths. Just a static stretch. Just relax and hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's switch it up now. Opposite side. Ah. Again, the work is done. This is the easy part. Just a little bit of recovery work here. Loosening up that upper body. Taking a second here to be a proud of what you've achieved so far today. And three, two, one, zero. Shake those arms out. And we're gonna move to the floor. Okay. For a little yoga inspired stretch. We're gonna do a combo, downward dog, upward facing dog. So let's come up onto your feet and your hands. We're gonna pull those hips back like somebody's grabbing your hips and they're pulling them backwards. We're gonna feel a stretch in your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and then bring that head back and loosen up those shoulders at the same time. Now let's transition, dive down, transition into an upward facing dog. This one's gonna loosen up your hip flexors, core, shoulders, biceps. Oh, getting a little stretch on this one. Bring the head up, hips down. And now let's reverse it back into that downward dog, pulling those hips back. And you'll see Claudia walking her legs out a little bit, which is a good way to isolate each leg. You can also drive those heels to the floor if you'd like to get a little extra calf stretch. You can make these stretches your own. You may be more flexible or less flexible than us. Just make it work for you. Let's go into that upward facing dog one more time. Head up and hips to the floor. Excellent. Nice, big, slow, deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's come down onto your knees and we're gonna sit back and do a child's pose. So go ahead and sit back on to your own heels or calves, stretching out those arms in front of you, trying to straighten them out, sitting back as far as you can, maybe further than us, may not be quite as far. Again, you make it your own. Feeling a stretch in your shoulders, quadriceps, lower back. And just take some big deep breaths. Taking a second here to just be proud of what you've achieved. Took the steps needed today to just get one more 
inch closer to your goal. Every time you repeat this workout, you'll get just that much closer. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're coming up slowly. Excellent work. Coming up slowly now. Of course, you don't have to get up if you don't want to. That's true. We unfortunately have to get up. If you need a minute. Feel free to hang out. <laughs> nice work, Claudia. Nice work, coach. Nice work to you out there today. If you enjoyed today's workout, we'd ask that you please support our mission to keep these great workouts free by donating to our Patreon page. You can also download our app or pick up a HasFit t-shirt or my book, Stay Fit for Life. We promise when we send you the shirt, they won't come for you or sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for coming and working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.